so we've got another little recipe for you here with Patty. Um, it's called cranberry chutney, and she's going to show us exactly how to make this beautiful organic vegan chutney for the holidays. Okay, we get the, the you know the holidays are coming up, and uh, there is nothing worse than canned cranberry sauce, or <laughs> cranberry chutney. There is nothing worse than that stuff. So. This is a um, fresh cranberries. Um, I uh, this morning I uh, bought actually some frozen ones, but they just got them in, so they're they're fairly new. But you can just buy fresh ones also. Um, and we're just going to. So how much is in there? Um, a 12 ounce bag of cranberries. That's how much is in there. Or 12 ounces fresh. Or 12 ounces fresh, yeah. So we're just gonna break them up a little bit. I'm, so I'm gonna pulse them. And make sure they all get down there and get broken up. So this would be a great holiday topping for stuffing. And oh, if you make toast them, turkey, uh, um, I've made that. this before and served the nut loaf. It is outstanding. Uh -huh. nut loaf. And, and you want it to be a little. Uh, you don't want to blend it when it gets really smooth because you want it a little uh, crunchy. So there you go. Look at that beautiful color. It is just, beautiful. It's just a gorgeous color. So we're gonna put that in. I can smell it already. I know. The bowl. There's nothing better than fresh cranberries. I'm going to make this at home. I was looking for something to make. Yep. Look at that. Just beautiful. Love the color. Okay. So, so well, what we're going to do is put, uh, chop one cup of walnuts. And what I do, I have my nuts in my refrigerator, and I keep them in a mason jar like this, so I know, always know how many nuts I have left, or how much I might need to go to the store and get. So, because you can see right through it, you can see it right through it, and right. keep it on the bottom shelf of my refrigerator. It's very handy. Yeah, all the nuts that we buy are organic, and um, the Ashland Food Co-op, where we get most of our stuff, um, they keep the raw cashews, the macadamia nuts. The uh, walnuts, uh, the pistachios, what else do they have over there? That's Some in seeds, the, yeah, macadamia, Brazil nuts. Brazil nuts, and um, the hazelnuts, and the all hazelnuts, in the refrigerator. Yeah. So there's a reason for that, and um, I would imagine it's to keep them fresh, because um, they are raw, they are organic, and this is really the best way to go. Yeah. So that's why I keep all my nuts in the refrigerator, and if I have extra supply, I keep them in the freezer, and then just fill up these jars as I use it. So. But this is the end of my nuts, so I need to get some, uh, some more water. Okay, so I just uh, chopped up a cup of... So you already measured it in here. I measured here. it. Put it there. Chopped it up. Chopped it up. I got my handy little chopper that just does this. Chop some nice. kind of even. So we're going to throw that in there. Okay, so then what it calls for is two oranges peeled, and we're going to put, we're going to blend the rest of these ingredients, so I'm just already put one orange in the blender, or I'm sorry, in the food processor. And you don't even have to clean the food processor, so I have a little bit left of the cranberries in there because they're all going to be mixed up at the end anyway, so you don't have to worry about cleaning it. So here, so I've cut up two oranges. What kind of apple is that? This is a Fuji apple, and I use Fuji because it's my favorite. It's sweet, it's crispy, and um, I just happen to like it, but you can use any sweet apple. Don't use a tart like Granny Smith or one of those apples. Don't use those. But and you just you know cut them up a little bit because they're going to go in the food processor, so they'll be mixed in there. So we can recap. We have 12 ounces of cranberries, um, not liquefied by any means, but just ground up yeah. in the food processor. One cup of um, organic raw walnuts, chopped. With this nice chopper here, added to that, and now you've had you've got two oranges peeled in the food processor with one Fuji apple, and like Patty said, you could use any type of apple you'd like. Just put a fourth of a cup of agave, and I can always add more later if uh -huh. it's not sweet enough. But if it gets too sweet, then you know nobody's gonna like it. Measure, uh -oh. measure twice, cut once. Right. Went and bought some fresh organic cloves at our do is just the cloves, um, the cloves themselves. Oh, you're going to use your little... I'm going to use my little mortar and pestle put it and just smash them up. In this way, it it's fresher. It um, The cloves themselves last longer, and the flavor is deeper and more pungent when you use nice. it fresh. 
and it, they'll last a lot longer. Um, and I don't use enough to buy a whole little container of right. cloves, ground cloves, and they'll by you know six months a year they're they lose all their flavor. Right. So this way, I know I'm getting the best and the freshest. Okay. So we got ground up cloves in there. Next is going to be ginger. So we need a um, teaspoon of grated ginger. Now I'm not a good one to measure. I just sort I of measure. I know. So I just sort of do it. That looks good to me, Pat. Yeah, looks good to me too. So this is a great grater, ginger grater, I don't know, microplane. Oh, that works well, huh? Yeah, works really well. I'm just grating the. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> this is live. This is live. Have a lot of whoops. Okay, so that so the catch is back there, so you can just use your finger, use a knife, and I think that I like ginger, so I tend to go a little bit more. And ginger is really good for you, so. Okay, what do is blend these all together. Just that alone looks good. I uh, know. Almost looks like that. Because that's almost like a sauce for this, right? Exactly. That's exactly. Yeah. You must be a chef in your own right. mm -hmm. So then what we're going to do is just add this to Oh, wow. And you have your, oh, the smell of this with the orange juice and the... It is wow. so beautiful. Look at I that. don't know if you can see this. The colors are just so vibrant. The smell is just coming up. It's fresh. You have citrus, cranberry. It is absolutely gorgeous. Show the camera, Patty. Look at this. Look at this. It's just... You're going to impress your friends if you make this. And you just saw how easy it is. You know, it just takes a few minutes. And right now I'm going to get a couple spoons, and Michael and I are going to try this. Oops. Let Mmm. <laughs> wow. That is delicious. I'll be making this. And you can just eat this because it's really good. I mean, you can just eat this. You know, I go, I mean, this is really yeah, good. like a yeah. dessert. Like a dessert. Uh -huh. Double dipping. Oh, yeah, it's okay. I'm going to that to the guy. Yeah. So, mm. thank you, cranberry chutney. Happy holidays. Enjoy.